Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Alan here coming at you again with another quick look uh, of a new product that has recently hit the... So you should notice in front of you here today, we've got a couple bow fangs. Uh, we've got a UB5R. Uh, this is just a blue UB5R. Um, I believe I got this in a battle box several years ago, and this is what actually turned me on to uh, GMRS and ham radio. We've got a UB9G. Uh, this is a GMRS dust and waterproof radio. Uh, this was recently checked out on our channel. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the video up here. Uh, very great solid GMRS radio. If you're looking for a cheap GMRS radio for everyday use, highly check, recommend checking them out. Then we've got this new one here. What is this? A UV9R Pro. But what is a UV9R Pro? Well, we're gonna find out. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this camera. We'll get this uh, radio up in the forefront and the other one's out of the way, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so UV9R Pro. Uh, this is a fairly new radio. I, I did pick this up off of Amazon. It comes in some different colors. Uh, the green kind of caught my eye, so I did get the green one. Full disclosure, I did pay for this with my own money, of course. Uh, but I just wanted to give a quick look to it, what it is, and there's a couple quirks I found with this that I just wanted to let you guys know about. So first off, UV9R Pro. Um, it's the same as any other UV9R uh, for the most part. I did notice that this battery will fit my UV9G, but my UV9G battery does not fit enclosed in the UV9R Pro. So take that for what it's worth. They're both pretty much the same, uh, but take it as a grain of salt. As with all the other features though, if you've used another Baofeng, you've used this Baofeng. Um, same menu system, same everything that you've had with any other Baofeng. It's, it's basically, I feel like a UV5R or UV9R just um, waterproofed. Uh, it does claim that it's eight watts. It does not say eight watts on the label. It just says UV9R Pro and then the voltage and then the battery is just a BL9 battery. Um, they did advertise it at 8 watts. We will test that. Um, I will throw that on a meter and test that here shortly. Um, again, also too, this antenna did not come with it. It does come with a new Whippy antenna. Uh, in fact, I actually have that on the UV5R here. So this is the antenna that comes with the UV9R Pro. This is just a aftermarket antenna that I put on there from Nagoya. It's a RD771 from Radiotity, in case you're wondering. Um, but the reason I did that is if you notice, and I'm going to bring the UV 9G in here as well. So this, this antenna is really countersunk uh, in there. So you, there's got this lip that's on here, and then it's got the standard uh, SMA male connector inside, but it's highly countersunk. Uh, I'm going to take this off for you, and I'm gonna, I'll show you. see the big difference with how much deeper it goes. Um, I do have one of those foldy whip antennas from a Brie that would not fit on this um, which is why i ended up putting the nagoya on it or the radiotity it will not fit inside this hole you will either have to dremel this hole down or get a different antenna to put in there um, again it's a little bit different if you notice it sits higher than what the ub9g does the other thing i noticed is you don't have this protector here anymore so the ub9g has this little protector that comes up the side as well as ub9r's no longer here uh, so, yeah, you don't have that on, on here anymore. Also, if you notice, the button is quite higher and, and more prominent. And it does actually make it easier to turn on. There is good feedback. Um, unlike my UV9G, it's hard to turn on and it gets really loose at a certain point. This one has constant, during the whole rotation, it's got constant pressure. Um, so I don't think you're going to need that little piece, but hey, it's not there. Anyway, moving on, uh, like I said, you know, typical Baofeng, you've got your flashlight, your little LED, uh, this is your emergency button, also can be programmed to do like your FM and so forth. You've got your push to talk on the side and your two programmables, just as with every other Baofeng. Um, it does have some nice texture. Uh, I do actually like the texture of this one, of the green one, the UV9R Pro. Um, the UV9G does feel heavier and it feels a little bit better made and sturdier but the texture on this is really nice 
So yeah, that's a quick look. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video. I'm gonna get my meter out and we're gonna take a look at the power output. Many, many minutes later. All right, so we're back up on the bench here or back of the truck as I like to call it. Uh, it's a different day, so forgive the shadows and all the difference in the changes. Uh, my meter actually broke. I had to send it off and get a replacement, which this is the replacement. So now we can actually test the power of the UV9R Pro. Go ahead and take the antenna off of here, um, which I still do have the Nagoya N771. Uh, we're gonna get the meter on here, which it will be a little awkward just the way it screws in. But we will be able to get it seen here. So we got the meter here. Go ahead and turn the radio on. Turn the device on. You can see it's turning on there. We are on a, a GMRS channel, channel, tw channel 22. I uh, just picked that to be on the high side. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video. I will key up and be right back with you. So we're all keyed up. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this so you can see it. Let's get it on the forward power here. And you can already see, but I'm gonna go ahead and key up again. You can see we're getting 4.6, 4.7, so 4.6 watts is what it uh, ended up being. So definitely not a eight watt radio. Now I do wanna say that in the few days that I was taking to get this replacement, um, it, it now states on the website or on the Amazon listing that I'll put below uh, that this is a five watt radio. So 4.6, 4.7 uh, for out of the five watts, very good. You're not gonna notice any difference with that. Um, I wanted to go ahead and switch it. Let's actually change it to low power. See what we get on low power. So this is going to be the same same channel, uh, GMRS 22 on low power. So here we're getting 1.6. So 1.6 on the low, 4.6 on the high. Um, for the price, very good radio. It seems very durable and rugged. I have not submerged this in anything. Um, I will be getting another one to do a review in a later date of it being submerged. Uh, but for now, not going to submerge this one. Uh, but let me know what you guys uh, think. Let me know if you like this review, if there's anything else that you want me to test. Uh, if you can, give me a thumbs up and a like in the comments. It does really help and I, I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, other than that, have a great afternoon.